What's up, Internet Fit Fam? Welcome back to 7 Star Fitness. My name is Keegan, and today we are doing a very special deep dive. Today's deep dive is a lot different than normal, and that's because the ones I've done in the past have been a lot more fast and loose, a little bit more relaxed. This one's gonna be a lot more formal. Some scientific papers I'm gonna be using to back up some of the stuff I'm gonna be claiming, and it's got a different style going on. You're gonna see in a little bit. So let's get right into it, shall we? And before we get started with this video, head below it, like the video, and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified of all of our future content. And it really helps with the YouTube algorithm, which helps push this out to more people so that more people can see what we're doing here, which is evidence-based content for the fitness community, which I really think YouTube and social media as a whole could use a whole lot more of. So help us help the internet. Like, subscribe, everybody wins. If you're a fitness enthusiast, you've probably heard it from someone around you or maybe you've said it yourself. If you're a personal trainer, you've probably heard this more times than you've heard your own name. How do I burn the most belly fat? How do I burn the most belly fat is easily one of the most asked questions in the fitness industry. Thanks in no small part to the fact that the societal standard of fitness, health, and sexual attractiveness is tied to a tight midsection and defined abs. The six pack chase often leads many through the subject of today's video. So let's try to answer it once and for all, shall we? To start, we need to establish the fact that we'll guide everything that comes after in this video. Spot reduction isn't a real thing. That means you can't choose where to burn fat any more than you could choose where it went on in the first place. Logically speaking, if that were possible, the number of Nikki's, Cardi's, and Meg's out there would be unmanageable. And every look out of every window would look like the WAP video. Okay, maybe not that bad, but you get what I mean. Scientifically, according to a 2013 study by Rodrigo Ramiro's Campilo et al., they attempted to achieve localized fat loss in the participants and found, quote, the training program was effective in reducing fat mass, but this reduction was not achieved in the trained body segment, end quote. So let's just accept it. Spot reduction isn't possible. Doing those endless ab exercises in hopes of getting a six pack is scientifically illogical. Getting rid of fat in a particular area of your body, even your belly, will have to come as a result of fat loss over the whole body. This means the conversation has to move to what exercise burns the most fat. Ignoring the complexities of energy systems and their usage of various macronutrients as energy sources, we'll jump past it to talk about fat loss resulting from calories burned to end up with the right question here. What exercise burns the most calories? If you've been in the gym long enough, you might have your suspicions, but let's get to some science so we can find a proper answer and explanation. In a comparative study by Paul H. Falcone et al., when looking at caloric expenditure of aerobic resistance or combined high-intensity interval training using a hydraulic resistance system in healthy men, they found that HIT done with a hydraulic resistance training system was the most effective over all other training modalities. So, to start, HIT style training with resistance, specifically hydraulic resistance, seems to be the best. This would mean sets of 20 seconds at max effort, 40 seconds of rest for approximately 7 minutes if you wanted to replicate the study's results. But what exercises would make the best use of this info? For that, we look to a 2017 study by Race et al. Their study aimed to estimate the energy cost across various intensities at 8 popular resistance exercises. Half squat. 45 degree incline leg press, leg extension, horizontal bench press, 45 degree incline bench press, lat pull down, tricep extension, and bicep curl. Their findings were really interesting. They unsurprisingly found that lower body exercises had a much higher energy demand than upper body exercises. But the exercises that topped the list were actually half squat and leg extension, which beat out leg press. Though not a perfectly designed study, the data is interesting. So now we know the modality and we know the muscle groups to make use of. So how would I structure a workout based on this info? I'd start with 10 minutes low to moderate intensity cardio to start, followed by leg swings and floor sweeps. Appropriately warming up the lower body would be key to avoiding injury. The exercise program would open with squats, move into split squats, deadlift, 
and closing with leg extension. Obviously, there are a number of variations one could use in terms of exercise choice, but I feel the use of more compound movements makes the most sense. Though I would be very tempted to replace the deadlift with leg curl, as I'm curious if the higher expenditure seen in leg extension versus leg press would be similar for leg curl versus leg press. The workout is set up with the understanding that not everyone's going to have access to a hydraulic system at their gym or wherever they happen to be working out. If that's the case, go ahead and use regular weights in replacement of the hydraulic system done in the HIT style though. The original study didn't compare standard weight resistance to hydraulic systems, but I'd be willing to bet that the results would be pretty similar, although I do think that the hydraulic system would probably still win out in the end. That being said, if you do have access to a hydraulic system, use it. So now we know the two exercises that have the highest caloric expenditure according to these studies, that being the half squat and the leg extension. So what other exercises would you pair with them in order to get the best effect or just to better match what you like doing in the gym? Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. If you have a fitness question that you'd like to see me answer in a video like this, go ahead and throw that into the comment section below the video. I'll take a look at it and I'd love to integrate it into a future video so that you can have the answer and we can get some cool content on the channel. Also follow me on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those social media links will be in the description below the video. Uh, of course, especially Instagram because I plan on doing some giveaways in the future. I want to do giveaways and maybe some pre-workout stuff like that. So make sure you follow me there, especially so you can be part of that when I actually start doing that. And if you like what you just saw, make sure you like like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can be notified of all the future content we got coming up on the channel. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and I appreciate every single one of you stars in the galaxy out there. And of course, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.